Hello, boys and girls. Today we will, we will be talking about stem and leaf plots. And our focus today will be on decimals and fractions that will be listed in our stem and leaf plots. Let's get started. First, we're going to create a stem and leaf plot with decimals. When you have decimals listed as your data, you should always list your decimals in order from least to greatest. Your stem is going to be your whole number part of your decimal, and your tenths digit, the number after the decimal, is going to be your leaf. Let's get started. So for three and five tenths, our stem is going to be three and our leaf is going to be five. We have three and six tenths where we're only gonna take our six tenths because we already have a stem of three. Next, we're gonna work, move up to the next stem, which is going to be four. And our decimal was four and one tenths. So our four goes in the stem and our one goes in the leaf. Again, we still have a stem of four, so our five will go in the leaf section. We have another stem of four because our decimal is four and five tenths. And finally, we have our last decimal, which is six and eight tenths. Our six is going to go in our stem and our eight is going to go in our leaf. When you're done putting all your data inside of your stem and leaf plot, you should always create a key. So the key for this particular stem and leaf plot is if I have a three, a line and a six, that means three and six tenths. Next, let's answer some questions for stem and leaf plots with decimals. Let's look at this question or this problem. Mr. Jones recorded the heights of the students in his class on a stem and leaf plot. Student heights is the title of our stem and leaf plot. Before we get started, we're going to label our sides for stem and leaf. Here's our key. Three line six means that on the stem side, we have a three, and on the leaf side, we have a six, which means the height of this student's student is three and six feet. Use the student's height, stem, and leaf to answer the questions below. Question number one. How many students were in Mr. Jones' class? You will count every digit that's on the leaf side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There were 14 students in Mr. Jones's class. Next, 
how many students were shorter than four feet? First, we're gonna mark where four feet begin. Then we're going to section off all of the heights that are less than four feet. Now we're going to count one, two, three. The answer to number two is three. There were three students shorter than four feet. How much taller was the tallest student than the shortest student? Well, we're gonna go and mark the height of the shortest student. And we're gonna mark it, label it with an S. Then we're gonna mark the height of the tallest student. We're gonna label that height with a T. Since we are comparing the tallest and the shortest height, we're going to subtract. We're going to subtract five and nine tenths minus three and six tenths. And your answer will be, and your answer will be two and three tenths. Number four, what was the height of the tallest student in Mr. Jones's class? We labeled five and nine tenths as the tallest height. So our answer will be five and nine tenths. Next, we will create a stem and leaf plot with fractions. Just like with decimals, fractions should, should be listed in order from least to greatest, or from smallest value to largest value. Let's begin. For fractions one fourth, one fourth, and two fourth, the stem is going to be left blank. So we're going to enter one fourth, one fourth, and two fourth. In our leaf. Next, we have a whole number of one, but there's no fraction, so we're going to put zero and one. Zero fourths. And that will represent our whole number. Next, our stem is going to be two. And our leaves are going to have the fraction, fractions, two fourths, two fourths, and three fourths. Finally, we're going to have a stem of four. And our fractions will be zero fourths one-fourths, three-fourths, and three-fourths. Next, I like to verify that my numbers or my fractions are listed correctly, so I go and I check.
Now, let's go and answer some questions about stem and leaf plots with fractions. Here's our key. If we have a two on the stem side and a fraction on the leaf side, that means that that means that it's a fraction of two and three fourths. Here, our fractions are representing miles. The stem and leaf plot represents the number of miles each day that Linda jogged during the month of April. How many days did Linda jog in the month of April? When I count all of these, all of the fractions in the leaf, I end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Linda jogged for ten days. How many days did Linda jog more than two miles? Well, here's two miles here on my stem. And this is my starting point, And this is my cutoff point. I don't have any fractions in the leaf section for the three. So the number of days will be one, two, three, four, five, will be six. What is the longest distance that Linda traveled? Well, my greatest or my highest stem is four. And my highest leaf in four is three fourths. So I'm going to write four. And three four. Maps. Well, this concludes our lesson on stem and leaf plots with fractions and decimals. Thank you. Have a great day.